Hi everyone, it's been a smoother commute home for a lot of people in Nashville tonight as I-24 is back open after yesterday's tractor trailer crash that killed two truck drivers. But for the families of the victims, the pain of their loss has only gotten worse. New at 6, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb spoke with the pastor of one of the people who died. Jason? That's right. Police say John Greer was driving the truck that veered into the westbound lanes of I-24 yesterday. Those who knew him say he was a kind man, always with a smile on his face. One day after a fatal accident that shut down the westbound lanes of I-24, traffic is moving forward. But Marcus Campbell... She won't see him no more. ...is not. You know. He's a close friend of John Greer, a 29-year-old truck driver killed in yesterday's crash when his truck veered into the westbound lanes. It took me for a whole loop. Uh, I couldn't believe it because I just seen John the week before um, this all happened. Marcus is also John's family's pastor. They're real hurt. He's been talking with his mom, dealing with his death after the crash. He says her pain is unimaginable right now. They're very close-knit. Um, they loved each other. and. Uh, it just sudden something so sudden uh, really affected that family real bad. John had been a truck driver for several years, working for IFCO, a pallet supplier with an office in town. Those who knew the father of three say somehow they will find a way to move forward after grieving who they say is a great loss. The tragic thing is the kids, they'll never get to know uh, really and truly what a great dad they had. Such a nice man. The other truck driver killed in the wreck worked for FedEx. His name was Michael Donnelly of Villa Grove, Illinois. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, Jason. Metro Police have not released a reason why Greer's truck veered into the oncoming lanes of the interstate.